everyone, welcome to our ZZZ Z Audio. I'm sure you and your family have a good and wonderful Christmas, right? So today, I get a new knowledge and I want to share you very much. I'm sure you know that some speakers have dog-like magnets, where other speakers have sliver one, right? That's weird. So let me explain. The black ones are actually ferret magnets and the silver ones actually we call that in fine magnets. So what's the difference of them and which one is better? And how can we choose when we buy a speaker? So today let's fly it. Stick around and don't go away and let's land together. So firstly, let's talk about the differences about the ferret magnet and the infant magnet. Actually, they have four differences. The first part is about appearances. Just like what I mentioned before, the ferret magnet is one of the more common magnetic materials that has no metallic luster and is usually not galvanized. So it looks mighty black. But the M5 is typically covered with a layer of zinc, so it looks like very shiny and gives the M5 slavery white glow outside. And also, there is another function about the governizing. Because the M5 is governized, so the governizing will prevent the M5 from rusting. And the second part is about the magnetic force. The far-right magnetic force can up to 800 to 1000 Gauss, but the M5, some of the M5 magnets can reach to 3500 Gauss. So it's really high, right? And the third part is about the durability. Cause M5 don't handle heat well. If they get too high, like 310 degrees Celsius to 400 degrees Celsius, they will lose their magnetic strings or become non-magnetic. So when you use the M5 magnet, you should confirm the speaker cooling down. On the other hand, even the Faraday is not as strong as the M5, but they can take more heat. They don't lose the magnetic strength when the temperature is very high. And this characteristic or this marriage makes them better in big audio system. And at that situation, the M5 will become very hard and might break down quickly. And the fourth part is about the cost because the M5 magnet is made of a real materials like the neodymium and boron. So usually you can see them be used in high-end audio speakers. On the other hand, the farads are cheaper and easier to make. So they are better fit for affordable and mid-end audio. Let's we move into the pros and cons about them. So, what's the advantages or disadvantages about the ferret and about the M5, right? The advantage of the ferret are high magnetic permeability, low cost, high temperature resistance, and suitable for low frequency. But just like I mentioned, the ferret is not stronger as the M5 magnet, right? The M5 magnet has a strong magnetic force and small size. So they can give the designers more space to design a variety of speakers, but they have poor temperature characteristics and brightness. Neodymium is a top choice for some due to their style presentation, compact size, and light white nature. They proud louder and clear sound reproduction and 
are particularly suited to some scenarios where space is limited or mobility is highly required, such as in car audio system. On the other hand, the ferret seems like less power, but they are practical. Toys for applications where size and weight is not an issue as they cost effective and still provide a good sound quality. Both neodymium and magnet have their own space in sound system. And the specifics about which magnet to choose will still depend on what you are looking for, how much you are willing to spend, and what sound quality you like. So make it happen to you. So today's video is almost come to an end and if you like the content of our video today you can give us a sign up and if you want to see more interesting content of a video in the future or the latest products you can follow us and if you have any question or interesting question you want to ask you can comment down below and we will answer you quickly so See you next time. Bye.